Bonjour everyone. This episode that you're going to see now is footage from May 2018 and I'm sorry I still need a bit of time to catch up on all the footage I have edited but it's coming soon I'll be up to date. At the end of January I traveled to England for 10 days it's freaking cold to take part into the selection for the first mates of the Clipper Round the World race. It's a race that takes 11 boats racing around the globe. It's equ equivalent of the Volvo Ocean race but for amateurs. On each boat, the skipper and the first mate are the only professionals on board, the rest of the crew are amateurs. I took the selection test and I've been hired as first mate. That's pretty amazing since it's been now more than a year that I'm trying to get into offshore racing. In the previous episode you might have seen me going to Les Voiles de saint Barth, Les Voiles d'Antigua, um, the sailing in Saint-Tropez and in Cannes. So, this clipper around the world thing is just another level. Uh, I'll be starting the training in May 2019. The race starts from England in uh, September 2019 and it's one year racing, uh, sailing around the world until um, August 2020. It's going to be a human experience, it's going to be lots of time spent at sea on a racing boat. I'm going to get to sail in all the oceans uh, around the planet um, and it's going to be also a challenge at so many levels but especially at the logistical level and uh, what I do with my boat this is the main question there's basically two options keep the boat or sell her on one hand it breaks my heart just to think about selling her I spent so much time refeeding her and we spent so much time and memories together on the water. But on the other hand, keeping her doesn't make uh, sense money-wise and also, I just at the philosophical level, I don't like the idea of a boat sitting in a marina doing nothing. Boats are meant to sail and not to sit in a harbor or on the dry. And also, probably after this race, I'll have other sailing projects that will not include a small cruising boat uh, into them. I've been dreaming about the Mini Transat for a while, but also why not, I don't know, getting on a boat to sail to Antarctica, um, I mean, many different ideas. So this is why I'm calling out to you now. I put a descriptive of the boat in the description below uh, in case you are interested in buying her. I'm also considering any ideas you might have, if you know an association or I don't know, a company that could have a project with this boat. Uh, my ears are open, same thing, I put m uh, my um, email address in the description below. Uh, just have a look and, um, and yeah, reach out to me. But don't worry, I have still almost, no, maybe nine months of footage sailing with this boat and on other boats. Uh, I'll keep the episodes coming and it's absolutely not the end of the adventure. Keep posting. Thank you.